Hello, and welcome to this short tutorial on how to create a Composer Island song with no musical experience. Before I start, I just want to say that there are probably better ways to do this, and there are limitations that musically inclined people could probably overcome. But this is what I found works for me. First, you have to decide what song you would like to recreate in the game. This method only really works with more popular music, as it depends on the sheet music of that song being readily available. I'd recommend looking up the name of the song you wish to recreate, followed by sheet music. What we are looking for is sheet music which includes all of the instruments used to making the original. There are ways around this, like if there's only sheet music or string ensembles, you can replace some of the string instruments with monsters that would fit the original. The website I mainly use and recommend is MuseScore, as it is free, and you can listen to the sheet music to see if it sounds accurate. Once you have found sheet music for your song of choice, you have to make sure that there aren't any notes outside of the range of the Composer Island's limits. Any songs that frequently use notes outside this range are generally not feasible. If the out of range notes aren't too frequent, you can still usually make the song, although some parts may sound a little off. Another limitation is the length of the song must be able to fit in the bar limit of the Composer Island, which is a maximum of 64 on the 4-4 time signature. If it doesn't fit, you can still make the song, but it'll have to end early. Lastly, you are limited to the monsters available, as not all instruments have a similar sounding monster, but I think that's what gives Composer Island its charm. Firstly, you have to find monsters that most closely resemble the instrument used in the song. When you go into the Compose settings, make sure to match the sheet music time signature, key signature, and tempo with the in-game time signature, key signature, and tempo. Now, let's go over the notes. Here are your accidentals. There are sharps, flats, and naturals. When copying from the sheet music, make sure to pay attention to these and use the right one. You'll also see different types of notes on the sheet music. This one is the eighth note, and it's just one eighth of a bar. The quarter note is a quarter of the bar, the half note, and the whole note. If you see a dot to the right of the note, that makes it 50% longer, changing a quarter note from this to this. There are also these, which are periods of silence. They are equal to these note lengths. No notes play during this time for this instrument. These are a couple of examples. If you see notes connected by a curved line, even though it looks like it sounds like this, it's actually this. The curved line means to just continue holding that note. And these ones here are just more and more notes played together in the same amount of time. Meaning when songs have a few of these, they may not all fit in a bar, but I'll go over a fix for that later. Finally, this top symbol means that notes played in this line are middle to higher pitched notes, and the bottom symbol means mainly deeper bass notes are played on this line. Next are the chords. Chords are when multiple notes are played at once. For chords, you'll need to place multiple of the same monster next to each other, each playing a note of that chord. Next are the drums. The drums are a bit more difficult, and you might have to experiment with the different drum monsters to find something that sounds similar to the original. I recently changed the drums on my Plants vs Zombies composer, because when I first made it, I copied straight from the sheet music, which didn't end up sounding too close to the original song. So I went back and changed the drums to sound more accurate by listening to the original song and finding a monster that more closely resembled it. If, for a monster like Bogart, for instance, you require a more drawn-out note, rather than a plucky note, you can double the tempo and time signature, which allows you to double the length of the note, changing it from this... to this. In a case where the song has too many notes to fit in a bar, you can also use this method to fit them in, but keep in mind that this will halve the maximum length of the song. Here is an example of this in a song recreation that I am currently working on. I'm using sheet music arranged by egriff123 on MuseScore for the We Play Tanks theme. 
Here, there are too many notes that fit in the 4-4 bar, so I double the tempo and the time signature. Another trick I use on this one is changing the octave of the notes that are shown in the sheet music. If the song has many notes outside of the game's range for one instrument, you can lower each note by 7 and get a pitched down version. But make sure to use a high pitched monster to compensate. Alternatively, you can just use every second note, which will still sound okay in some cases and won't change the song's maximum length. The last tip I have is to utilise the volume sliders, as some instruments are meant to be quieter or louder than others. If any instruments have an echo, use a second of the same monster with a lower volume to play the echoed notes. These are the tips I can think of now, and I hope this helps you create an amazing recreation of one of your favourite songs. If you have any other tips, please leave them in the comments section and I'll compile them into a pinned comment. Good luck and have fun composing.